cool. We are about to be there. Be live. Alrighty. I'll send you the the watch thing too. Yeah, it should. Oh yeah, live now. I have it already. Oh, okay, cool. Picture my forehead. <laughs> <laughs> I can always move you a little bit. Uh, it's, it's just my camera is yeah. like in a weird spot. Alrighty. Um, yeah, mine is way too low. Hey, um, I just realized I hit the button and just been sitting here talking to myself. Hey, what's going on, okay. everybody that uh, hops in and watches? Uh, we're just kind of doing a little bit of hacking on some ML agent stuff. Um, I haven't touched it in a couple months at least, and Chris has done some machine learning, but not in Unity, so we're going to figure it out and train something to do something. I don't know exactly what yet, but it should be cool. Yeah, sounds good. If anybody's got questions or suggestions in chat, uh, be around, just kind of watch them, try to respond as much as possible. Uh, right now, just going through resetting stuff up, just kind of following along the instructions because stuff that I had previously apparently doesn't work anymore. I'll have to update my uh, my videos on machine learning. And then uh, for me, the machine learning side of it for me is I did my master's on computer vision, so I have a lot of uh, machine learning in Python experience. Uh, I have zero of. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and I just got a bunch of errors trying to follow the steps. Gotta love steps that don't work. Of course, I said that's, that's then, mine, basically. Uh, for me, the machine learning. All right, let's um, see. I think you're. Uh, vision, so wait, never mind, that's me. Machine learning is my thought experience. I, uh, yeah, I <laughs> muted the audio to the. Yeah, I did too, just now. It took me a minute to realize. So. Yeah, do you have any idea what this error is, Chris? Um, Why this happened? Pip base command. Well, if it's talking to pip, pip is like the Python installer. Oh wait, package wait. installer. Um, I didn't, I didn't follow the instructions. I didn't activate ML agents. Yeah. That's probably the problem. And I was trying to do it on the uh, the previous activated. What are those called? Uh, environments? The uh, Anaconda environments? Yeah. Okay, there we go. So switch to the right Anaconda environment and hopefully not get any errors now. Oh, yeah, that looks better. It's doing something right. Bizarre. Send a message real quick in here. Installing, installing, installing. Oh, I should probably tweet out the link for this. All right. So once this finishes, what do we have to do? Uh, use pip to install some dependencies and clone the repo. Got that already. I just uh, tweeted out the stream. Oh, cool. All right, so it looks like we do pip install dot once it's done, and that's going to find all of the dependencies. And yeah, so. Happen. But do I have to go to that folder first? Yeah. Yeah. So the in there, there's probably a requirements.txt, which is like Python's standard way of doing that. Yeah. Oh, so okay. if you want to see what's what it's installing it's, right now, you can go into one. Yeah. Okay, cool. But I haven't run that step just yet, but it's good to yes. know this. Okay, so it's going to do that. So uh, TensorFlow is Google's machine learning uh, deal. And yeah, bring that on the main screen. Um, Pillow is uh, like a computation library usually used for image editing. Um, Matplot is uh, for graphing. NumPy is like a number editor. Jupyter is a uh, 
um, basically like a, I forget what you call it. It's kind of like a scratch pad thing where you can set up tutorials and, and uh, have it display as a web page with code in it. It's really interesting. Um, PyTest testing framework, uh, DoCopt, I don't know what it is. Uh, PyAmls for reading YAML configurations. Um, Protobuf, yeah, Protobuf, and then I think that last one's related to GPU connection, but I don't know for sure. So those are probably the two that I don't I don't recognize as the. Uh, the Ducopt and the. Ducopt and the GRP CIO. Which you could look up if you wanted to. I don't know. No, why not? Well, we've got an installer running, so. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good to me. I got another one going on. It's a open source RPC framework. Hmm. Is this it? Oh yeah. The RPC. Yeah, that IO. Yeah. Okay. It's probably just. Yeah. Uh, oh, you know what? It's probably to let um, Python talk to Unity. Because there was, uh, I was reading through some of the code, and uh, yeah, it it had some buffering system to send messages from the agents back and forth. Oh, okay. Huh. Uh, so um, for the quite yeah. Uh, Chris asked a question about is it? It kind of is. Um, so if you've looked at, he asked about it, if it was related to letting an NPC decide what to do on its own. And yeah, I guess you, the way you set it up, I think it depend on the specific game, but you could definitely use it to control NPCs. At least from everything I've seen, it seems like a, a pretty interesting way to do that. Right here, it's just balancing some balls on these little things, so the balls fall down and it I stop and start. I think it's a little bit more interesting when it starts off before it has yeah. it totally balanced. But it just it's like it trains to balance things and then starts learning how to do it and then you could train it to do I assume just about anything in a game at least anything not too complicated yeah so what the balls are doing there is that every time they fall off uh, it actually scores that decision making system lower and then every time it stays on for a long a longer period of time then it scores it higher and so you you, you don't have to tell it how to win it can figure out how to win on its own by get collecting scores. Um, and the part yeah. that's running here is the already trained part. It's already gone through that process of no, learning how to hold the balls on there and then you give it the the data file, which is right here. It's this 3D ball graph model. This is telling it how to do it now because that gets generated when we go through the training process, which we should be able to go through pretty soon. Um, Let's see, some installers yeah. are, are done. I still haven't run the pip install dot. I don't know how long that's going to take. But once these are done, I think we'll be able to run through the um, actual training. Just do a yeah. training session. Um, it should get better and better over time. Yeah. Well, I think the one that's in here now is like super trained. That's yeah. why the ball doesn't even move at all. <laughs> it's been really well trained. Um, and that's why there's, uh, you know, 12 of them is because it needs, it's learning from each one and then reach, you know, uh, it has to retrain itself and things like that. So um, I know that the platform also stand, starts at like a random position and doesn't really move initially and then it goes slowly over time. Yeah, it's interesting watching it train too, even though like you got to speed it up for real training. But when you go through and like watch it sitting there dropping the balls over and over, slowly getting better. Um, the slow, slow install though. I do remember this taking forever though. Like last time I did the install, those videos were 20 minutes and that was the <laughs> cut down version. <laughs> like, it's good. But I think uh, a lot of that was like the Anaconda setup and finding the right things to download. And hopefully that's yeah. all still good. It seems like it is. Um, we'll see though. Yeah, here's the hoping. <laughs> Has anybody uh, in the chat played with machine learning at all? I 
how delayed we are. I forgot to check. I don't think I set it to ultra low latency. Like I meant. Yeah, no, we're, we're like super. Uh, it's super delayed. <laughs> ah, crap. That was my fault. I, I meant to set it up like a. Uh, and get it down to like two seconds. I did that before, and apparently I uh, totally forgot, and now we're on a nice long delay. I wonder if I can adjust that while we're still live. I doubt it. But I'm going to try anyway. Okay, I just said super delayed again just now. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, it's such a low latency key. I don't know. Let's see here. Alright, a few people picking up on my Twitter post. Oh. All right. They're still oh. installing. We're losing people. We're <laughs> losing them. Losing, losing them to wait wait for the install to run. Um, I don't know. Uh, do you have a Python editor? You can do something pretty entertaining while we wait. I do not. Uh, what <laughs> Python ahead. editor should I have? Well, PyCharm's the JetBrains one, but uh, I don't know. You could just run a Python script. PyCharm might That's take good. a while to download, though. So, uh, yeah, go see if you can get it. Yeah, There's a com internet. community edition for free. So, um, But we can we can goof around with some basic machine learning stuff if you're yeah. up for it. Just to show the audience what's actually going on. Um, Let's do it. So. It, di it didn't even show the size, just instantly downloaded. Nice. It's the joy of gigabit internet. So uh, I sent you a link of some code to download. Oh, okay. And then... Uh... And so the, the SK Learn is like a super simple version of what TensorFlow is kind of doing. Um, and let's see. Did I associate this with my dot pies? Yes. Seems like you a want, good idea. Yeah. Then I get that there's an image that I just sent you that kind of shows some. I can explain some things that that are happening in TensorFlow maybe a little bit. Oh, okay. Um, uh, with that image that I sent. While we wait for that. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, yeah, so there's um, this is like a, a example of different machine learning models learning some input data, and so you could imagine this as like um, maybe where the ball drops, you know. So like red might be it fell off and blue it stayed on or something like that, and uh, so these are different models. So uh, you know each row of pictures here is. Uh, is the I don't know if you can see this on the stream right now. Um, it should your, pop up. Your, it went black for a second when the installer popped up. Oh, uh, okay. It cool. Turned back on. Did it not. I just looked over at it. Yeah, I so saw it went black. Like uh, JetBrains popped up and it went black, but I don't see it um, showing anything anymore. It's like it jacked up OBS. Uh, oh yeah, it's all kinds of messed up. Give me one second, all. Okay. I don't know. I don't know why that happened. Uh, That is really weird. What is going on? It just literally stopped showing my my monitor and everything else. Um. Yeah, I can only see you. Yeah, we'll be back in two seconds. I'm just gonna restart OBS. Okay. The stream might drop off for just a button. It doesn't look like there's an option in there. Okay, are we are we better now? Uh, Here, actually, let I'll me know in a second. Hold on, everybody. I'm just going to kill and restart this stream completely. And we'll be back up in a couple seconds and low latency so we can actually talk. Okay. And I'm hit the button to turn that one live. It's weird. It's like the image that I see... 
Oh, you're, you're just now saying that you're going to kill and restart the stream. <laughs> wow, that is delayed, yeah. That's terrible. All right, we're almost, <laughs> almost back up. Uh... Oh, okay, here we go. Maybe, maybe. I think we're back. I don't. Are we back on? Yeah, it's weird though because no, it feels still that like the same latest. Stream, though. It's still the. It's still is it still the old stream? Is it, I think so. Yeah, the new one. I don't know why it didn't kill it. Kill it. Fun for everyone. Debugging live stream. We got fourteen on right now. Looks all right, like... let's kick them all off on accident and. Uh... <laughs> Okay, so the event tonight. Sorry, guys. It's just like clicking on everything in Chrome is super slow right now with uh, everything else installing at the same time. Like I click and then I wait a couple minutes. Okay, stop streaming. There we go.